how to organize a good choral group or any musical group. A musical ensemble, also known as a music group or a musical group, is a group of people who perform instrumental or vocal music with the ensembles typically known by a distinct name. Some music ensembles consist solely of instruments such as the jazz, quartet, or the orchestra. Organizing is a process of defining the essential relationships among people, tasks, and activities in such a way that all the organization's resources are integrated and coordinated to accomplish its objectives efficiently and effectively. What is choral music? Choral music is performed by a group of singers or a choir. The singers may perform without accompaniment or may be accompanied by any instrumental combination from piano to full orchestra. Choral music is necessarily polyphonal. Example, um, consisting of two or more autonomous vocal lines. Choral, choral, choir, and chorus stand in obvious relationship to one another and are in some respects used interchangeably with a body of singers, for example, is referred to as a choir. Choir is a group of people who sing together. They rehearse together and sing at concerts or for religious services. Choral music and importance of choral music. First, we have choir, group of singers, and a chorus. Second is the choral, a hymn sung by the choir and congregation often in unison. Third is chorus, a group singing in unison. Uh, fourth is classical, the period of music history which dates from the mid-1700s to mid-1800s. The music was fair and emotionally reserved, especially when compared to romantic and baroque music. Last is do it, a piece of music written for two vocalists or instrumentalists. We have seven types of choral music, first, mixed choir, second, male choirs, third, women's choir, fourth, men's chorus, fifth, children's choir, sixth, boys choir, and the girls choir. First is mixed choir. This is perhaps the most common type, usually consisting of soprano, alto, tenor, and bass voices. Male choirs with the same SATB, voicing as mixed choirs but with boys singing the upper part, often called trebles or boy sopranos, and men singing alto in falsetto, also known as counter tenors. Third, women's choir, a choir of adult women, high, vo high voices only, usually consisting of soprano and alto voices, two parts in each. So, women's choir, um, is nag-need din na sila mga kanang high voices regyo din sila pwede o mga low voices then next is men's choir a choir of adult men low voices only usually consisting of two tenors baritone and bass so ang um, women's choir is need siya og high voices then in contrast po is ang men's choir is low voices ra po siya yeah. Next is we have children's choir. Boys, boy choirs typically sing SSA or SSAA, sometimes including cambiata. The nor part for boys whose voices are changing. SSA or SSAA stands for um, 40 to S is composed of two distinct soprano sections and for the AA is a uh, two distinct alto section. Then we have the sixth type is the boys choir, a choir of boys. Then we have the girls choir, a choir of girls. And um, like for the women choir is girls choir is need Japan high voices only. 
let's proceed to the types of musical group first we have the orchestra an orchestra is an instrumental in symbol usually fairly large with string brass woodwind and percussion section another type of small in symbol that consists of any string player is a string orchestra second we have the worship band worship bands are most common in evangelical denominic deno denominations but can also be found among the other christians denominations most worship bands are church based and seldom play outside their own churches third is concert band a relatively large group of brass woodwind and percussion players that performs in a concert hall as distinguished from a marching band so ug atong tanawon is ang orchestra ug ang concert band is pari-parihas la sila pero na na sila difference so the difference between an orchestra or a concert band is uh, the most obvious difference between the in symbols is the instruments that call the in symbol home um, for orchestra uh, we'll use sila kanang violins, violas, cellos, and basses. Then while a concert band is made up of woodwind, brass, and percussion instruments. So, one ay kalahi anila. Uh, pros and cons in organizing any musical group. We have the pros. Uh, if you want more creative control and assurance that you'll be playing music, you enjoy the venues you prefer. Forming a band may be the best way to go. The second is recruiting your own members allows you to select players with a skill um, set you desire and individuals you believe you'll have chemistry with. Then third is as a band's founder, you control the creative direction. You can dictate the size of the band, song selection, image, target venues, and rehearsal and performance schedule. So that is for the pros. And the cons is, as the founding member, you'll have to manage the responsibilities of the group until you delegate them to others. Second is, once you book an event, you'll be responsible for ensuring the band fulfills its contractual obligations. Yeah. Third is, you will be considered the leader by default and must assign these tasks to others if you do not want the authority. For it is, even in the most toxic situations, you may be slow to replace members or disband because you've made such a large personal investment. Then, next is before making your decision, explore the bands in your area and determine what you want from the experience. And last is if you if you cannot find a band you like or feel there's a void in the local music scene that you'd like to feel. Take the reins and form a band of your own. So, that is for the cons of um, in organizing any musical group. Tips in organizing any musical group or want to learn how to organize. First is we have make detailed plans ahead of time. So, important is that you have to make plan so you don't have imong event or or maski unsa din ha nga gig di mo so planning ahead is an important aspect of dream achieving process by planning ahead you become proactive and foresee issues or roadblocks that may come your way and therefore plan the actions to avoid the roadblocks or face them confidently so og na man ganay problema so mura naka ready na ka og unsa imong i buhatan sis nag buhat tamang kag kanang detailed plans ahead of time sa imuhang event or unsa na imuhang gigira then second is take numbers of people into account then third is give clear and simple instructions so importante jud na siya nga kanang og muhatag gani kag instruction is kana lang simple nya klaro wa na lay kanang daghang story story ana kay mas malibog man imuhang mga members ana then fourth is make definitive decision kung um, hatag mong ganit ka decision dapat um, specific siya niya dapat sad uh, klaro then 
o mahatag mo ganyan ka decision dapat final na siya final decision na na nimo di na ka pwede mag-usab-usab kay anong o sa, sa, side po sa ibang member is maglibog mo po sila like for example mag-usab ka o usbo ninyo ang inyong i-play niya maglibog ang mga members kay nag-practice naman mo ato nga song niya mag-change na po ka nga lahi na sa nga kanta so dapat kuan ka uh, make definitive decisions again then fifth is be upfront with your goals then sixth don't take sides in disputes so kanang taking sides mong good is mula mong na siya mahuga na kay favoritism then and important that is kanang dapat makahibaw sa rantanan let everyone else know na on sa magani kanang hita ba sa inyong group po para di po sila kanang blind ba o kung sa mga problem na dapat dili ka mag dili ni mo siya i-dibdibo ng ikaw ikaw ra kay nam kay grupo dapat i-share po ni mo nila as a leader next is um don't vote then have fun and keep trying so um think carefully and think again before you make a final decision to the group that is the most um important um as a leader you must think carefully first before you can move out of any mga mga decisions or any actions that is the end of my report um, thank you for listening